I have just completed page down to end of data. What we're going to do is we are going to copy everything on this web page. So I'm going to control, hold down control A, which is select all. I'm going to control C for copy. I'm going to go to my spreadsheet. I'm here, I'm going to paste. Now it's important that you paste special, to paste special as text. Otherwise you're going to get the images. You're going to get the, all the profile photos it will come down and it'll just be a great big mess. So I'm going to right click, choose paste special. And here are your options. I'm going to say text. Click OK. The next thing to do is we're going to remove blank lines. The reason we're going to remove blank lines is later on we're going to run a macro, and the macro is kind of looking for the end of the of the spreadsheet. And if there's a blank line, it just kind of stops there. So the blank lines tend to be at the end of notes. So here is my note, which is kind of plaintively saying to for this particular match that I sent two messages with no reply. But after notes, there seems to be a blank line. So in Excel, to remove blank lines, it's quite simple. Just highlight the column, and we're going to search for the blank lines. So click on Find and Select. So Find and Select, and the fourth option here is Go to Special. And here, it actually gives you an option for looking for blanks. So click on the Blanks option and click OK. What that's done is it's, it's selected all the blank lines in this particular column. And now we just want to delete them. So to delete them, we're still in the home menu. So under the in the cells box here, the middle option here, just click delete. It'll delete the selected cells. 